Get ready One, for Healthy two, three, Hollow. Four. We're here at Healthy Hollow with Dr. Judy Smith, a licensed clinical psychologist from Mercyhurst University. Dr. Judy, when we talk about the brain, what comes to mind for you? Well, Kathy, something parents can benefit from is helping their children develop not just book smarts, but also emotional smarts, sometimes called EQ or emotional intelligence. For example? Well, the first aspect of EQ is self-awareness. You know, knowing what you're feeling and why, knowing what your strengths are and what you could get better at. How can we help our kids develop this skill? There are many resources on this topic in books and online. Parents can help children name their feelings and ask them questions that help kids articulate what they're good at and where they can improve. Wow, so what else is involved in EQ? A second attribute is self-management or handling your impulses, your disruptive emotions. That's so important. <laughs> Most definitely. And here parents can teach strategies like kids taking a break from something that's troubling them, being physically active to stop distress, taking those deep belly breaths to lower stress, or counting to 10 in their heads before saying or doing something impulsive. Wow, those are great tips. A third element of emotional intelligence is empathy, sensing how other people feel. Parents can ask kids how characters on TV are feeling based on facial expressions, or ask, how do you think grandma feels being in the hospital? And what could we do to cheer her up? So while book smarts are important, people and feeling smarts are too. Absolutely, Kathy. Some studies suggest success and fulfillment in life are more about EQ than IQ. I believe it. So does Sunny Buddy. You know what? Thanks for sharing, Dr. Judy. My pleasure.